the interesting things is uh, there aren't necessarily any fundamental changes in gameplay from StarCraft 2. Uh, after Warcraft 3, you know, we had, we had made a lot of radical moves in terms of how we structured that as an RTS. You know, we went with the hero system, you know, way less units on screen. Um, some of those were driven, some of those decisions were driven by the technology at the time. We actually couldn't push that many polygons. Um, so, okay, how about less units? You know, that made sense. So, with StarCraft II, after all these years, we really felt strongly that we wanted it to sing to the old school StarCraft experience. We want a lot of units on screen. We want a, you know, a heavy action RTS. We want to make sure that, you know, the people who love StarCraft before, this feels like, you know, the obvious, you know, sequel, you know, in terms of its mechanic and in terms of its character and thematics. Uh, so, I don't know that there are any fundamental differences. Um, we're really trying to you know, uh, re-look at these races, these three races, you know, we didn't add another one, which, you know, might have seemed obvious. Uh, we really want to re-look at these races and make them, you know, ten times better than they were back in the day, but still keep it familiar, you know, that the, the parts of the mechanical experience um, that work so well, um, we want to maintain, uh, you know, that, that integrity. Um, so, uh, there may be some fundamental things we're doing with the single player game, we're not really talking about that this weekend. Um, but we really want to make sure that that part of the game is just absolutely unlike what you played before. Um, but for the multiplayer competitive component, we wanted to keep it as familiar as possible. We started development uh, right after we released uh, Warcraft 3 The Frozen Throne. Uh, that team freed up. Um, we started jamming ideas, you know, uh, drawing on cocktail napkins, you know, new units, new characters. Uh, we had a lot of ideas right out of the shoot on how we wanted it to go, how we wanted, you know, different story elements, uh, different, uh, you know, uh, gimmicks of the races that we always wanted to try out. So what happened uh, over time was that uh, World of Warcraft really heated up, um, and so a lot of our senior guys uh, jumped over to help out for a time. Uh, we lost a little bit of momentum, but for pretty much the past couple years, we've been all hands on deck and really pushing, really pushing hard on this one, and it's, it's really uh, taking shape. I think there's a lot of reasons why uh, people keep coming back to StarCraft after you know, after all these years. Um, the biggest part of it probably is uh, the, the game balance. Um, when we put this thing out years ago, uh, it was really well tuned. Uh, I think another component of why people come back to StarCraft is just kind of the flavor of the game, uh, the personality of each of the units. It's essentially the kind of game where you have you know hundreds of little warriors running across a map at any given moment, and we really took time to make sure that each unit, each Alien, each you know tank and spaceship has a really distinct flavor. You know, every every unit has a story, and I think that comes through. You know, the, the voice acting or the writing or the animations. You know, everything really creates the the feel of, of what these characters are moving in this universe. And I think that's the charm of it, if you could say charm, or the the personality of it really comes through. And I think that's part of why people have gravitated to it. You know, over the years.